Hi all the students. From today onwards, we are going to study the elementary data link layer protocols. So the upcoming three and four videos, three or four videos would be about the data link layer protocols. So the first protocol in the series that we are going to study is the unrestricted simplex protocol. Now, as the name suggests, it is the simplest of all the protocols. This protocol assumes a lot of things which we'll discuss just now. But uh, the first and most important, uh, foremost important thing is that here the data are transmitted in one directional only. That means the data direct, uh, transmission is not bidirectional. Both the transmitting and receiving layers are always ready. So the first assumption is that both the transmitting as well as receiving layers are always ready to send and receive data. The processing time of the receiver can be ignored as an infinite buffer space is available. So it is assumed that the receiver has an infinite buffer space wherein it can accommodate all the incoming data packets. Meanwhile, it is processing the current data packet. So there is no risk of losing any data packets. The third assumption is that the communication channel is completely error free. So any uh, losses because of the communication channel that usually occur which could be erroneous data or which could be data loss is not possible here in this case since at first place we are assuming that the communication channel is error free. Now this thoroughly unrealistic protocol. Why unrealistic? Unreal because of so many assumptions that we have made which are not practically possible in real life data transmission. The sender and receiver, first of all, cannot always be ready to send and receive data. Secondly, the processing time cannot be ignored because there is a limited buffer space. Third, the communication channel is never error free. So all the assumptions which this protocol makes are unrealistic. Hence, this thoroughly unrealistic protocol is nicknamed as Utopia. Since the communication channel is assumed to be error free and the receiver is assumed to be capable of processing all the input infinite quickly. So the processing speed of the receiver is also assumed to be very fast as well as the buffer space that the receiver has is also assumed to be infinite. So for these reasons it is assumed that the processing speed of the receiver is very fast. So then what is the sender supposed to do? The sender does not have to think about anything. It just sits in a loop and continuously keeps pumping out data out on the line that is the transmission line as fast as it can. Hence the data, hence the uh, sender, since the sender does not have to think about any such issues which are there during a which occur during a data transmission so what it does it just simply keeps on pumping out data through the transmission line as fast as it can and finally the data is passed on to the network layer because from the uh, sending data, uh, data link layer when the data is transmitted to the receiving data link layer then from the data link layer at the receiver side the layer which is above the data link layer is the network layer. So that means it is quite obvious that the data link layer at the receiver side will pass on the received data to the layer above it which is the network layer and then settles back to wait for the next frame. Once it has passed on the data to the network layer, it will sit down idly effectively suspending itself until, until the next frame arrives. So again the next frame arrives, it processes it and then passes it on to the network layer and all this keeps on happening in a loop as long as the entire data is transmitted to the receiver. So this is the basic principle of this protocol and for this reason this is not a successful protocol. So this is all about the unrestricted simplex 
protocol of the data link layer.